hello and welcome to my channel in this physics tutorial we're going to solve this problem that says that the motion of a particle along a straight line is specified by the equation x let's put down that equation x equals 40 to the power of 3 minus 2t squared so we are asked to find the acceleration after five seconds so we are going to look for the acceleration a after five seconds so the time derivative or this time here is five seconds all right so the first thing we need to do this is for displacement position vector so we have that to be this and we're looking for acceleration that means for us to get this acceleration we need to take the second derivative of this x with respect to t and for us to get the second derivative it means we need to check for the first derivative and the first derivative is the x over the t and the x over the t is the same thing as velocity because velocity itself is a change in displacement or some cases can say is a change in distance with respect to time so to take the derivative of x with respect respect to t you should be familiar with the formula for differentiation and to differentiate quantity you need to know that n x to the power of n minus one this is a formula for differentiation so you need to take note of that so what we need to do is to plug in or some cases you see this, the formula to be a n x to the power of n minus 1. Either of them is correct. Right, so let's go straight away. But the quick way I like to differentiate quantity is just to multiply this 3 being the power by 4 and subtract it by 1 using the formula. All right, so if you multiply 3 by 4, the result you have is 12. So 12 t to the power of 3 minus 1 that will be 2 minus we have to do the same thing here because we are dif differentiating them separately so if you multiply 2 by 2 the result is 4 and you subtract 1 from 2 then you have just t all right that is the first derivative if you want to take the second derivative of this you have d squared x over dt squared and this is for acceleration Alternatively, is the same thing as saying taking the derivative of the velocity with respect to time. It's the same thing with this. And that is for acceleration. So that means we need to differentiate this again. And the differentiation of 12t squared, if you multiply this 12 by 2, you have 24. And you subtract 1 from 2, you just have t left. Minus. Differentiation of 4t, differentiation of t, you don't differentiate a constant. The differentiation of t itself is 1. So 4 times 1 is 4. Okay. The power here is 1. So if you plot in 1 here, you notice that the result you have is 1 minus 1, 0. And anything to the power of 0 is 1. So 4 by 1, we give you 4. Okay, finally, we have a condition that at t equal to 5 seconds. So that means anywhere we have t, we plug in 5. So a now will be equal to 24 multiplies by 5 minus 4. So by the time you put the whole of this together, the result you will have is 25 times 5. 24 times 5 is 120. And 120 minus 4 we give 116. And what is the unit for acceleration? is meter per second square and this is a solution for this problem i hope you found this video helpful please hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that when i upload a new video you get notified and please make sure you like this video and share thank you i'll see you when i see you